Now that we've set the scene with the background in the literature and research, let's take a look at the Tell Them For Me reporting tools. Here, I'll be sharing how you can utilize the different reports to look at some of the measures used in mental health for a practical application, finding the story in your data, if you will. Let's start by taking a look at what measures you might want to include for data collection and then have to explore in the area of mental health. The three measures that directly relate to mental health are shown here, anxiety, depression, and self-esteem. We can see the measure description and the number of questions available for these measures here. This information can also be found in the interactive charts by flipping your chart using the question mark or hovering over the measure in the measure summary selection page. For the secondary school survey, all three measures are available with the measure of anxiety available for the elementary school survey. Let's start by taking a look at what measures you might want to explore. The three measures that directly relate to mental health are shown here with the other measures selected that also feed into those measures like sense of belonging, positive relationships, truancy, tobacco, alcohol, and gambling, bullying, exclusion, and harassment, safety at school, and aspirations to finish high school. You can access your reports from the Tell Them For Me homepage from two different ports. You can see here from Monitor Progress or from the View Reports. Clicking on one of the options just shown will take you to your own dashboard that will show you what reports are generally available. Please note that not all reports may be available to you. It depends on a few different factors, including the measures chosen by your jurisdiction, whether there were any open-ended questions for the survey takers to answer, and the size of the reporting population. Each one of the tools you see here can be valuable in exploring your data. Let's take a look. Using the Tell Them For Me one-click report, you can see a summary of all your survey results and get a good feel as to how your district or school did on certain measures overall. So, the one-click report is a good tool to start your data exploration using measures that relate to mental health, for example. As a reminder, the one-click report shows all survey results by measure. Using the example provided here, I can quickly see that my students in grades 9 to 12 are above the Canadian norm in regards to anxiety. The Canadian norm should be used as a benchmark and is not something I should necessarily be striving for or be okay with but it does suggest where the school sits with other Canadian schools and provide a reference point. The text on the left of the chart suggests that both my boys and girls have a higher level of anxiety compared to the Canadian average. By making this observation, I know that this is something I may need to focus on in terms of mental health and how I might look at this result and others when I dig deeper in the interactive charts. From your view reports dashboard, when you click on the interactive charts link, report available, you'll be taken to the measure summary page where you can select the measures that are of interest to you. I have chosen to look specifically at anxiety as it stood out in the one-click report. Once I select the measure as seen here, I will click submit and my interactive chart will populate. Now that I've identified using the one-click report that further investigation is needed under the anxiety measure, I can use the powerful and dynamic interactive chart tool to provide more information using drill downs. Once your student surveys have closed and reports are available, measures that relate to mental health are reported in their own individual charts within the Dynamic Interactive Chart tool. This allows you to dissect the factors affecting mental health at more of a micro level. On this slide, I have used anxiety once again as an example. Here, I drilled the measure down by sex and grade, and as such, it allows me to see and look deeper into what might be going on behind this measure and to give further context and understanding of the data as it was reported by the students. So in this case, the drill downs allow you the ability to uncover what might be going on with a subpopulation of students and allow you to target interventions accordingly. Remember, the data is not the answer, but more so information to have meaningful discussions with your school teams and we'd like to offer with the students themselves. Please keep in mind that any data you may see on these slides comes from our demo district, so it's not any particular school or district's data. In regards to all our measures, not just the measures of mental health, the key is to regularly survey your students in order to gain insight into which areas you should be celebrating, as well as identifying the areas in which you need to adjust. 
A suggestion to maximize success would be to adopt the notion of completing two snapshots within a school year. That is to say you can survey your students in the fall, analyze your data and apply the results to your school improvement planning and in this case any interventions related to mental health and early in the school year that might be able to make an impact in a positive way. Then in the spring Survey your students again using a subset of identified measures to see which interventions were successful and which areas still need work. Mental health is an area that may or may not need a longer time frame to see growth. You can apply our year over year comparison to this measure, a function you can perform in our interactive charts once there is at least one years of data. You can compare up to three years worth of data so long as you continually choose to survey on the same measures. By applying this comparison, you can see how your school has improved over several years, which is terrific for long-term improvement planning. These are just a few examples of how you can use the Tell Them From Me reporting tools to track your school's mental health levels. We do encourage you to utilize our report so you can too see the story your students are trying to tell you. Further to this, the Account Success Management team at The Learning Bar does offer debriefing sessions which provides more detailed support in examining your data. If this is a service you're interested in, please connect with your account success manager. Finally, I would like to offer that the scrapbook tool within Tell Them For Me can provide you with an easy to use framework for sharing data and creating powerful presentations. Within the Tell Them For Me environment, it is the feedback loops, communication to your stakeholders, and using the data for discussion that can maximize the overall power and perception of the tool as not just another survey, but a tool for change, student voice, and a part of planning that students, teachers, and parents can learn to appreciate. So a few quick nuggets on Scrapbook would be that it can be personalized, download to a PDF, zip, or PowerPoint for quick and easy sharing and presenting. And when working with the interactive charts, you can click on the camera icon to collect charts that are of interest to you. While in the interactive chart, clicking on the question mark reveals information behind the measure and can also be included in your downloads to provide the audience with more texture and a behind the scenes information on a particular measure. This and other tools and supports are available to all Tell Them For Me members and we look forward to working and sharing this with you.